Hey guys, Steph here. I'm back. Um, my pool is patched up. It is no longer leaking. Yay! It took quite a while and it I literally just finished and put on dry clothes. And I don't know if you'll be able to see if it'll focus out the window. No, it won't. But it is downpouring right now. Pretty funny. Nick of time. So I have two clean and simple cards to share that I made. One, someone asked me to make specific, like there's, they wanted it to say a specific thing. And it's using the greeting farm Anya Strolls. And I did a Copic coloring tutorial with this image and I used that one. These are the Copic colors I used. So my last Copic coloring video was using this image with these colors. And all of the papers and the card base is from a Studio Calico kit, card kit that I had gotten in the past. So this is the card, it's A2. And as I said, I had colored her on video. Uh, I did add Winkasella to the bow. I added some black gel pen to her necklace, um, some glossy accents on her bracelet and her shoes and a bit of Winka Stella to the red dog tag. And then I added this super cute little polka dot bow where the dog normally has a bow. It's a smaller bow, but I added that one because it was cute and matched her outfit. So all those papers are all from the Studio Calico kit. And then I just used this here it is, EK Success Punch, Ticket Punch, and used the largest one and punched out a ticket shape. The Happy Birthday is from Simply Enchanting by Amy R. And then they wanted it to say Sista, like that. So I used these mini market stickers in blue and cream from October afternoon. And then I just stapled it at an angle. And then um, the blue little cabochon things here are the Jawbreakers from Queen & Company. This also came in that same Studio Calico kit. And then I just used some clear and white sequins, just randomly. And then this Celebrate is from American Crafts. It's a flare badge. And then the inside, oh, I'm sorry, this little star here is actually a star brad from spare parts and it's the blue one I have a ton of brads and I always forget to use them and I was so happy to be able to use one and remember to use it <laughs> and then on the inside all I did was more of the pattern papers and then this sentiment here and that is from fresh squeeze stamps inside scoop birthday and this is a really great inside card sentiment set, but they are no longer in a company that makes stamps. They went out of business. Um, but you can get a few of these at a few places. Um, I don't know if Simon Says Stamp still has some, but I do know that um, I Heart Paper still had a few on sale too. So that was card number one. And card number two is even simpler. This is card number two, super simple. I just used um, Paper Trank yellow cardstock A2 base. Then this here was white cardstock and then I used a um, technique I saw Jennifer McGuire do where I inked up one side of an embossing folder. It is embossed. And I inked up the embossing folder with a very pale yellow, I think it might have been uh, soft vanilla or something by Hero Art, so super light vanilla color. Ran it through the embossing folder and it came out like this and then um, I went over the top with a light green color. I think it might have been Green Hills or something like that from Hero Arts as well. And just went over the very top with the green so you get a two-tone embossed look. Which is really fun. I made a few of these and I had this sitting and thought I'd use it. And then my three band-aids, as well as the Feel Better Soon, are from Paper Smooches Healthy Vibes. So just those two there. And I just Copic colored these 
Um, the outside here is using E E93, 95, 97. The inside here is using E51, 53, and 55. And then the heart is using R24, 20, or no, R24, 27, and 29 or 39. And then I just used some red stickles. And then here I just used some gold detail embossing powder and gold embossed to feel better soon. Cut them at an angle to go with, you know, the thing going on back here. Super duper simple. And I did pop up the three band-aids. And I did not do the inside yet, but that's okay. So, super simple cards. I just wanted to share now that my pull is patched up. And I am going to go save the kitten from Ava's loving affection. You remember that show? I think it... Oh. What was it? Was it Bugs Bunny? I can't... Or was it Animaniacs? With the little girl Elmira where she loves the animals, but she loves them so much. <laughs> like, we'll squeeze them. Ava won't squeeze, she knows better, but she just loves them so much. Makes me laugh, but um, <clears throat> she does not squeeze the kitten. I don't want anyone to think she does, but she does hold it so much where it's like, let me go, I wanna be free. So our new rule is, for every time that she holds it longer than a minute, she has to let it have five minutes to run free. Yeah, gotta make rules like that. So anyway, I'm babbling on about nothing. And yeah, let me go do that and enjoy the rain. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.